Good morning everybody, I'm back and now I'm going to give you another new product review but first I want you to meet my new baby. Her name is Pepper. We just adopted her yesterday. She's eight weeks old and she's so sweet and playful and she's really curious about the laptop especially when I move the mouse around she's like what is that, what is that, what is that, you know that cat kind of thing and she says she wants to help me review this product because this product is called Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. Just like Pepper, she likes to bounce. <laughs> so I'll be talking about this new blush from Maybelline, the Dream Bouncy Blush, which I purchased in two colors. This one right here is called Plum Wine, shade 50, and this one is called Hot Tamale, or shade 70. So, of course, a review wouldn't be complete if I didn't have anything to compare it with. Let me get my Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Soft Plum. I also got this yesterday from CVS and it was 50% off. They probably put these blushes on 50% off to give way to these new blushes. So these blushes retail for 6 to $8 each compared to these which retail for about eight something dollars each. This is the packaging. It's really light and kind of flimsy and really thin and kind of cheap, but it looks um, modern and young. So it's dome shaped like this and then you open it this way and you see the product right there which is also dome shaped. I don't know how much product is in there, but as you can see I've already used this because I used this last night. and. The most noticeable thing about this, which is probably why they called it bouncy, is the texture. See, it has kind of a give to it. When you press down on it, it bounces back on you. This is what the color looks like. This is plum wine. So I've swatched some blushes for you. This one right here in the middle is plum wine. The one on this side is cloud wine. Dream Mousse Blush and this one right here is Soft Plum in the Dream Mousse Blush. So I don't know if you can see very clearly but the Dream Mousse Blushes have some sort of shimmer while the Bouncy Blushes are more of um, just creamy and matte finish. Blush. The Bouncy Blush has more pigmentation to it so you gotta be careful when you apply it on your cheeks. Don't put too much on because it's really, really pigmented. and It's a little bit harder to blend. You, The only way, I guess, to apply this would be to use your fingers because I tried using a blush last night when I applied too much of it and it was really impossible to blend out. So I just ended up using my fingers and moistening my fingers with some water when it wouldn't budge at all. These Dream Mousse blushes are really, really easy to blend out so you don't have to worry about putting too much on your cheeks. You can always, always blend it out and make the color look a little bit more subtle. And I do like the texture of the mousse blushes more because they're softer and I feel like there's more product in this and the packaging is also more substantial and heavy and not as cheap looking as this blush right here. That's pretty much all that I can really say about the new blushes. They have a different texture, more pigmentation, harder to blend out, but I still am really liking them because they have such unique colors. See, I'm wearing Hot Tamale right now. Just a really, really light application on the apples of my cheeks. So it's a really, really nice bright orange or what you can say coral kind of color. So yeah, that is my brief review on the new Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes. Even if I didn't give it rave reviews, I still think that they're worth a try for 6 to $8. You really don't have anything to lose. Just more color to gain. I'll see you again later, guys. Bye.